All right, everyone. Welcome back to the land of Kev. I am your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Drum. Thank you all so much for joining me again. All right, everyone, welcome back. This is episode 117. Today, I will be introducing a massive topic that will be relevant across the board in upcoming episodes regarding the manufacturing of chemicals within the Egyptian pyramids and the passage chamber structures of Europe, a subject called electric field chemistry. If this is the type of content you're interested in regarding the ancient technology of a lost civilization, utilizing physics and chemistry, and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube. Don't forget, click that little notification bell so that you do not miss the new episodes that premiere twice per week. Please like, comment, and stay tuned. If you want to help support the channel, check out the Land of Chem members only section. Link in the video description below for exclusive research related content and unreleased footage that you will not see anywhere else. If you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some Land of Chem merch, Check out thelandofchem.com. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at thelandofchem. Also, don't forget, after you finish watching this video, please go subscribe to our two new channels here on YouTube, Egyptian Trash Cats and Egypt Eats. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. I think that's it for the intro. So without further ado, let's get right to it. And a final reminder for the Land of Chem 2024 Ancient Alchemy and Ascension Tour. The deadline for reservations is February 15th. So if you want to join the tour, please send me an email to contact at thelandofchem.com and I will send you the full itinerary and pricing details. Thank you all so much and I will see you soon here in Egypt. All right, everyone, here we go with tonight's episode. So to begin, many people have been asking about the applications of the electric fields that were harnessed from lightning by the Egyptian pyramids and stone circle systems of Europe. And the first that I will be explaining, you can see here. In this beautiful representation of today's topic called electric field chemistry. And this image demonstrates the concept of electric fields being applied to a reaction chamber to induce the chemical reaction. This coming from the paper entitled Electric Field Mediated Chemistry Uncovering and Exploiting the Potential of Oriented Electric Fields to Exert chemical catalysis and reaction control. And I will quote a few things here from the abstract. First, this perspective discusses oriented external electric fields, OEEF, and other electric field types as smart reagents, which enable in principle control over wide ranging aspects of reactivity and structure. An oriented external electric field OEEF along the reaction axis will accelerate reactions, control regioselectivity, induce spin state selectivity, and elicit mechanistic crossovers. Furthermore, for polar polarizable reactants, the oriented external electric field itself will act as tweezers which orient the reactions and drive their reaction. So electric fields are an extremely valuable tool when it comes to catalyzing and controlling chemical transformations. And these electric fields can be used to polarize reactants, which further drive their reactions. And here is the first example when it comes to the reactants of hydrogen and nitrogen inside the Red Pyramid of Dashur, both of which are polarizable molecules. And I will quote here, electric field enhanced hydrogen storage on polarizable material substrates. Stating here, we find that in an applied electric field, the electrons of the hydrogen molecules are polarized. Furthermore here, oxygen is actually smaller than nitrogen and therefore less polarizable. Nitrogen is bigger and more polarizable. So within the red pyramid, one of the applications of this electric field is to select and orient the reactants of hydrogen within the primary steamer former 
and nitrogen from the secondary aeroformer and drive the reaction sequence between the hydrogen and nitrogen inside of the final synthesis chamber to create the final product of ammonia gas, which itself is a highly polarized molecule that is maintained by the electric field within the chamber, preventing its reverse reaction breakdown and allowing it to be effectively dissolved into solution, producing an aqueous solution of ammonia. Now, for the purpose of today's episode, I will just be briefly introducing these mechanisms of operation, and I will be returning to the applications of these electric fields within each pyramid specifically in later episodes. And I've also shown how the Great Pyramid of Giza was designed to concentrate electric fields inside of the reaction chambers, as you can see here, which has a direct result on the reaction between sulfur dioxide, a highly polar molecule, and oxygen in the reaction to produce sulfur trioxide and thus sulfuric acid when dissolved into the water within the contact process chamber or grand gallery. Next, here, a general statement about the significance of electric field chemistry. Exploring the fascinating world of electric fields in chemistry offers a deeper understanding of how atoms and molecules interact with each other. Electric fields permeate our physical world and play a vital role in chemical bonding and reactions. By learning about their properties and causes, you will gain valuable insights into the very fabric of matter. And here, the technical definition of electric fields in regard to chemistry. An electric field is a region around a charged particle or object within which a force would be exerted on other charged particles or objects. It's essentially the area in which an electric charge exerts its influence. The strength and direction of this influence are what characterize the field. So how does this apply to the Egyptian pyramids and passage chamber structures of Europe? Well, as I have explained, these structures are made of dielectric materials that are designed to store electric fields that are harnessed from lightning strikes, which will have a direct impact on the reactions occurring inside of these chambers. So first, here, regarding the causes of electric fields in chemistry. Charge. Electric fields are created by electric charges. The presence of a charge creates an electric field that permeates the space around it. The larger the charge, the stronger the electric field at a given distance from said charge. Next, another cause, induction. Electric fields can be induced in materials that are placed in an external electric field. This can be seen in the polarization of dielectric materials, where internal charge displacements create an induced electric field opposite to the direction of the applied field. This, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly as I have been describing and what will occur inside of these dielectric reaction chambers as they concentrate these electric fields. Furthermore, here, a question about electric field chemistry. How does an electric field influence the rate of a chemical reaction? Answer, an electric field can influence the rate of a chemical reaction by altering the distribution of charged species, lowering the activation energy, and stabilizing or destabilizing intermediates, thus accelerating reaction kinetics. So essentially, electric fields can be utilized effectively as catalysts for driving chemical reactions. In addition to the sonochemical catalysts that were implemented within the red granite chambers of the Great Pyramid, these chambers are also directly impacted by the electric fields for the production of ultrasound. And I'll be doing a full episode explaining this mechanism of operation exclusively on the members only channel coming up soon. So to summarize, I will quote from another research paper here entitled, 
electric field intensified chemical processes and reaction chemistry. As stated here, electric fields represent an important resource that can be utilized for process intensification in the chemical industry. Utilization of electric fields provides an efficient and cost-effective way for intensified chemical processing and reaction chemistry. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is just the tip of the iceberg of how these electric fields were utilized within these complex systems. Because remember, just like the stone circles of Europe, the Egyptian pyramids are not standalone structures. They are connected into an entire network of other components, like the Osiris shaft, for example, the operation of which is directly influenced by the electric fields harnessed from lightning strikes. And just a reminder, if you haven't seen it yet, Land of Chem Members Only Channel Episode 7 is now available with the mind-blowing footage from our recent expedition to Kassar Saga, otherwise known as the Palace of Gold or the Palace of the Goldsmith. If you want to check it out, just join the Members Only Channel link in the video description below. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. This was episode 117, Electric Field Chemistry. A whole lot more on this subject coming up soon. And in this week's Sunday site visit, the remaining footage from our recent expedition to the Pyramids of the Fayum Oasis. This is an episode you do not want to miss. And if you're interested in the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures across the world and the ancient technology of a lost civilization utilizing physics and chemistry, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube. Don't forget, click that little notification bell, like, comment, and stay tuned. If you want to help support the channel, check out the members only channel and landofchem.com, both linked in the video description below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at The Land of Chem. Also, don't forget, for all you cat lovers out there, please go subscribe to our new channel, Egyptian Trash Cats, and also Egypt Eats for food reviews all the fantastic restaurants that we visited on our expeditions across the world. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. I think that's it for today's episodes. I will see you next time. Yo, are you still watching this? Please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube and click that little notification button new videos coming out every single week and check out this other episode come on do it do it now <laughs>